Hi. Right, so I'm going through another one with the, the my traditional tray. Uh, I want the Fabriano 130 pound paper. Just uh, sorry, it's swimming with the, the water running down the board, which is about 40 degrees, I suppose. Uh, Okay, on to that, we'll do the usual. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. So muddy thinking means muddy painting. So we'll make up a sky and landscape. I'm thinking of sort of Welsh mountains, that type of thing. The plenty of cloth. Here's my palette, the old palette. Cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber. Payne's Grey, a bit of hookers, burnt sienna. They're all cotton and watercolours. I've, I've been changing my palette on my paint box to Jackson's artist qualities, which are very, very good. But I'm not quite so happy using them on, on Fabriano. I ooh, just let my seat down. Prefer the uh, the paint box and the and the mops for, for that and the artist paper which is quite a bit more forgiving than, than the Fabriano. But the Fabriano is good for wet in wet. So let's put in a bit of a, a, a sky, a bit of a lowering sky. Loosen up. See, with the artist quality, you don't have to scrub away. But then these have been drying on this palette for, for a long time now. OK, a bit of light red. So let's go a bit darker with the get this cloud much darker, I think. Right, we'll put in a bit of red in there, I think. A bit of light red. Okay, I'll uh, Retest the paper. When the paper's wet like that, you can do more or less anything on it. So when it starts to dry, it gets critical. <coughs> this will dry much lighter than I put it on, so I'm going to go over that yet again with this. Uh, maybe there's a bit of burnt umber in there with the blue. Don't use a lot of burnt umber. I don't know why, probably because I've got the Payne's Grey and the Burnt Sienna. Okay, a bit more. Okay, a hair on there. I'll give this a bit of a dry, so mute your sound. Put in a bit of a background, I don't want it bone dry. Need a cloth nearby to wipe off any surplus. Let's have some sienna in there as well. Just loosen up some of this burnt sienna.
got some nice Okay, getting some blue. Shadow on that side. Soften the cadmium yellow. Gonna put some rocks in this. of a lake here. Quite hard this common to get some pigment. Some paint grey. Some cabin yellow. Okay, some dark. Right, let's uh, pick up a card, plastic, piece of plastic, credit card, whatever, and I'll uh, start etching some texture out of the the background. It's catching the light. Some here. Well, I'll put some texture or some trees and bits around this. Okay, that's just a little bit and there. But just save so lifting over the brush, you can just scrape and get some texture. Look. That's a bit of bit of lights back there. Okay, let's try it. Right, now I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, Chinese or Japanese brush here to put in some texture. I've got to do something in here, yeah. So the basic green is a burnt, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, and ultramarine, pinch of green. Processes. I thought I had this. I discovered it last week. Got 
can't see that, sorry, my, the, the wet paint is, is, uh, is reflecting. I'm going to put some trunks, I'm going to out some trunks if I remember. I don't overpaint this too much, you lose some of this. What luminosity I've left, it's a little bit muddy here and there. Bit blue, but sienna on this side here. Well, let's put a bit of bit of uh, sienna, a bit more burnt sienna on on here. Bit of burnt umber. Bit of dark. Wash that in there, and we'll put in a bit of that background. Got a bit of a hole in the sky there, but uh, I can't do much about that now. Well, I'll try, but I don't think it'll work. A little bit muddy, but I was going to scrape out some of these. Okay, I'm going to let that go. It's a, it's a bit, bit muddy. I'll put a, uh, let's see if I can 
put in some figures. Uh, where's a figure brush? I don't think there's any room for any figures there. Eh? Any uh, lights? Um, so maybe, maybe not. We could probably put some some birds in, hovering. Okay, well, I've got a signature. I don't think it's worth a signature, but. Put in a mount. Been out for the bike ride today with my old mates. Good fun. A lot of banter, as always. So if you're ever around Merton Mill, Abbey Mills, in the Rubber Wand Hall, around about 11 ish on the Tuesday morning, apart from next Tuesday, we've all got a funeral to go to. Uh, call in and say hello. Oh, hello. Bit of money here and there, but for a made up painting, it's what it is. It's improvising on the hoof. A pinch of colour in it. Right, okay, let's just bring the camera around and we'll just zoom, zoom in, I think. Oops. So there we are, it's just a lot of foreground with a lot of scrubby bushes on some background, some becoming warmer as we come to the foreground and plenty of cool colours in as well. Um, that's why aren't you level? Okay, that's a bit better. Right, well, that's a Welsh mountains impression of. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye.